But we got 12 laps to settle here in the B main for the Roadhouse Billiards and Brew. IMCA Sport Mods starts looking a lot better. And yes, we are underway here for 12 laps. Ray Bloom, Jordan Henry working down there in turns one and two. Ray Bloom going to hold on to that race lead as they exit turn number four. Dustin Comer making moves, trying to work himself into the top four, trying to get away from that bubble position, Ben. Three wide for P5 is Jason Cox, along with Garrett Craig and Dustin Hittner all getting after it. Comer problems at the top of turns one and two. May see a yellow come out as we've got a fight for the lead between Henry and the 60J and the E3 of Ray Bloom and thought Comer was going to fire it up and he's able to get the 22C rolling in the right direction. Heartbreak City as he was running fourth at the completion of the first lap. Yeah, and Jordan Henry taking over that top spot as going back to last completed lap. Jordan Henry will restart in position number one. Dustin Comer doing the smart thing there, Ben, uh, getting to a stop, drawing that caution out. He, instead of losing a bunch of ground to the race field, now he's going to start at the tail end here. Well, he's going to have to pick up some lost territory, that's for sure. So that'll restack things. Is Jordan Henry your race leader? Ray Bloom scored second. Ron Wilson is third. It's Jason Cox fourth. Garrett Craig the fifth and final transfer car as of right now. Dustin Hittner, Jake DeWalt, followed by Cole Eiliff and the aforementioned 22C Dustin Comer. Delaware double file restart with Jordan Henry. He's the tip of the spear. One lap complete, 11 to go. Your B main is back underway. Jordan Henry able to shoot out in front as Ron Wilson moves up into second, getting around Ray Bloom. Looks like the bottom of the racetrack right now seems to be the favorable part of the track. Ray Bloom reclaims second as we'll have two laps complete this time by. Jason Cox now also battling with Ron Wilson for that third place spot. Garrett Craig riding back there in fifth place as sixth place ahead under heavy fire. Here comes Ray or Dustin Comer trying to work the burn there, trying to get by these two guys. Rooster Tails coming off of the front end and kicking the dust up. Dustin Comer in car number 22C is currently in seventh, going after sixth as he gets around. Cole Eilif, oh my, getting some airtime like Jordan in his prime with the Chicago Bulls, but all parties able to keep going. Big damage on the quarter panel or the door of Dustin Comer as Cole Eilif pulling into the infield. Smoke starting to boil out. Looks like possible night done. Looks like broken suspension components on the TK of Cole Eilif. Again, Dustin Comer avoiding disaster there, able to keep the car rolling as Cole Eilif. Yeah, you can see the right height not correct on that car. Smoking a bit like a freshly doused campfire. Cole Eilif is going to bow out in, yeah, left front flat tire. The least of the worries, you got to wonder that there's uh, there's some bars bent as well as some suspension and steering components from the left front that are just tweaked beyond fixing, at least with the amount of laps that we have, or the amount of time it would take to get them back out. We're four in, eight to go, a third of the way home, and Jordan Henry has paced the field the entire time. This will most definitely help. Dustin Comer, the 22C. The big question mark is, is there damage sustained that's going to, is going to rub against a tire, or is there going to be something to affect the handling or the suspension? We will watch with anticipation as Ray Bloom, Jason Cox, Ron Wilson, and Garrett Craig, the rest of the top five. Green flag is back out. Green flag is definitely back out. Now Dustin Comer is the inside of Garrett Craig as they work down into one and two. Ray Bloom making a little mistake in one and two. Jason Cox going to get out as we got debris in turns three or one and two. Caution flying yet again. Might have been a filler panel off of the back of somebody, and it could have been the E3 of Ray Bloom. And not sure what would have caused that to really detach, as I didn't really think that anybody got in the back of them, but it's looking like that is the reason for this most recent stoppage with still four laps successfully scored complete. Well, remember in heat race action, Ray Bloom did have that left rear quarter panel damaged in heat race competition. Maybe they didn't get a uh, panel fastened uh, entirely before this B main and it 
It just flew off there. But he will regain his second place spot over Jason Cox. Single file nose to tail right now, and it'll be interesting to see how Dustin Comer, or let alone Garrett Craig, reacts because uh, on that last restart, Comer was trying to move around Craig to move into fifth as the debris has been picked up off of the racetrack and safely put out of the racing groove. And we should be getting back underway. Single file nose to tail restart because we had a consecutive yellow without a completion of an additional lap. That's the reason why they're marshaled nose to tail. Still eight laps to run. And they sailed off down into one and two. Oh, Comer trying to battle with Garrett Craig. Comer going to take over that final transfer spot in the 22C. Craig's not going away quietly. Craig's got a run on him. Craig and Comer fighting for P5. Remember, Comer's a slightly wounded animal out there. He's got the fifth and final transfer position, but Garrett Craig putting the pressure on. Comer trying to make that car as wide as the straightaways will allow him. And he's working down into turns one and two. Got heavy pressure from Garrett Craig as they go down into one, two. Craig making a little bit of a mistake and allow Comer to get away as they sail down to three and four. Jordan Henry, still your race leader. Past the halfway mark this time by. Seven laps complete, five to go. Henry, as you mentioned, is your leader and has paced the field for the entirety of this one. Ray Bloom is second, Ron Wilson third, followed by Jason Cox fourth. Dustin Comer still credit him with the fifth and final transfer spot. Comer looking good on the bottom side of the racetrack. Here comes Jake DeWalt now to battle for that sixth place spot with Garrett Craig. As Comer slipping up the racetrack just a little bit and turns one and two, holding on to that final transfer spot. Now he goes to the top side. DeWalt may have something figured out here on the bottom of the racetrack. He's, he's really carrying a lot of speed. He's already distanced himself by a bit from Garrett Craig. But Jake with DeWalt is running out of time as it's two to go this time around as they will complete lap number 10. Running about two tenths faster than Dustin Comer. Comer made a slip up. Here comes DeWalt. Battle is on for that final transfer spot. A little bit of contact down into turns one and two. Jake DeWalt trying to get there, but Dustin Comer going to slam the door. White flag, Ben. Dustin Comer definitely in a defensive posture. It's just four turns remain for Jordan Henry and the rest of the field. Comer has some breathing room as they go into turn one. We'll see how DeWalt reacts. Is all alone by himself. Jordan Henry is going to be your B main winner tonight on the prelim evening for the Ralph Bloom Memorial. Ray Bloom second, Ron Wilson third, fourth will be Jason Cox, and holding on to fifth will be Dustin Comer. Jake DeWalt finishes sixth, Garrett Craig is seventh, Dustin Hittner eighth, and Cole Eilif will be scored ninth. And so we've got our five final positions is 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 is where Jordan Henry, Ray Bloom, Ron Wilson, Jason Cox, and Dustin Comer will start respectively in our A main event for the Friesen Performance IMCA Northern Sport Mons presented by Roadhouse Billiards and Brew. Two feet.